guys what's up today I'm going to be breaking down how I made this edit um you guys are seeing on screen right now for the music I used Rip Roach by XXXTentacion we're using Joel Olsteen Ols how do you say it Osteen Joel Osteen uh he's a preacher so for the first thing that would come up is text when it says A we get the text says A so what I did is I set keyframes for the opacity scale and rotation set the rotation at negative 20 when it jumps up like that it goes it spins up and spins back down so if you look at that in the value graph for the opacity made an arch but i did not put a keyframe in the middle and that just makes it flow a lot better i did the same thing with the scale and the same thing with the rotation but instead with the rotation it is shaped more like an inverted s for the shake i set the amount to 75 percent Set the speed to 0.35, set the seed to 13, it really doesn't matter what seed you set it to. Set the smooth to 100% and everything else I just left alone. I also put this flicker effect that's on it, but most of you guys will not have this thing because I bought this separately. Um, so you guys are going to have to find like a flicker overlay. I'll try and find one and link it in the description. Effects, we have the tile, which is right here, and then the shake. So for the shake, I set the amount to as high as it can go set the speed to 1.5 percent and then I just went in the transform tab and adjusted the scale so you can see it goes from to 390 back to 390 so it goes a hey, boom boom the thing about trap edits is that they just have to be super fast and there has to be a lot of transitions if there isn't a lot of transitions what are you doing it just does a hyper zoom these hyper zooms, they're all really basic to do. The thing that really sets them apart is the shake that goes in between, and it's gonna be the same for all of them. So just copy my effects and you'll be all set. I animated this letterbox effect, which would be right here, I think. So what I did for that is I just went into the ratio to set it where there's no black bars, it's just one, right where the transition happens. You set a keyframe, the transition stops, set a keyframe and set it to how far in you want it. I just set it to 131, but obviously you can set it to more or less, but that's what I set it to. Then I just went into the value graph and made it sort of look like this. And then when it hyper zooms out, it zooms in even more and then it goes away. For this background, what I did is I went into Google. Actually, I'll show you. So um, I'm looking at dogs right now. You go to your tools set the color to transparent and you can find a bunch of images with transparent backgrounds i'll put a link in the description so you guys can download both of those things and add it to your footage but other than that it's just the same as a normal edit it's very similar to any other edit and just super fast and snappy thank you guys for watching this video if you guys found it helpful drop a like on it if you guys didn't drop a dislike on it subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next one